Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'm going to take you through how I painted the Mantis Warriors Tranquility Campaign Sniper Unit. So over a white scar undercoat I'm going to begin by applying equal parts of Bad Moon Yellow, Magma Droth Flame and Contrast Medium. And just looking to do one even layer of this over all of the power armor. And once you've applied this step, just give it approximately 20 minutes to half an hour to dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. So with the contrast paint now dry, I decided to shade all of the power armor using one of the new Citadel shades, Targor Raid Shade. So just using one of my cheap nylon brushes for this part, and as you can see, just aiming to do this in the recesses as I didn't want it to go over the entirety of the power armor. So essentially just continue following this and just take your time. And uh, if you find that it spills over just a little bit, you can always just quickly wash your brush and then with a bit of water, uh, just wipe it away a few times. And after giving the Targor Raid Shade about 20 minutes to dry, I decided to, since this is a sort of uh, desert style scheme, I decided to use Dawn Yellow, and I'm actually just going to be using a, a dry brush to apply this. So after having removed most of the paint just on some paper towel, I'm just going to begin by uh, what is essentially the uh, main highlighting stage for this scheme. As against the Bad Moon Yellow mixed with Magma Droth Flame and of course the Contrast Medium, I found uh, that this uh, particular yellow would give a really nice sort of desert style colour effect over uh, the contrast paint. And now moving on to the patterns for the Mantis Warriors Tranquility Campaign Sniper Unit Scheme. Now, with this particular part of the scheme, um, I highly recommend using one of your better brushes. So for me, I'm using my Raphael 8404 Size 1 brush. And the key here, uh, of course, because I'm using a darker tone over a lighter color scheme, um, you really want to be careful as to not make too many mistakes with this step. So initially just getting the shape of uh, the pattern and then just gradually filling it in. And as you can see, really just using the tip of my brush for this and really taking my time. And I have watered down the Rhinox hide enough that uh, I will need to do two coats. But again, it's just allowing me a little bit more control. So I definitely yeah, recommend uh, doing it this way. And uh, also another thing, uh, besides watching this tutorial, of course, I also recommend uh, if you do want to go ahead with this game, uh, just to do a bit of a Google search on it. Um, if you type in the Badab War, Mantis Warriors Tranquility Campaign, you will be able to find close up photos of this retro scheme and uh, of course um, be able to use that as uh, a reference in front of you.
And at this point you can see the scheme is looking really, really cool. And I decided just to add a, a little final touch to the power armor. So with some uh, heavily watered down Doom Ball Brown and a little bit of my Warhammer case, uh, alternatively a sponge, as I've mentioned in previous tutorials, a sponge, uh, kitchen sponge, uh, torn off will work just as well. And also, as you can see, removing most of the paint on my dry palette and then just gradually building it up. And I'm just looking to do this all over the power armor. But another thing to keep in mind as well with the sponging effect is sometimes less is more. So you don't want to take away too much from uh, all of the work you've put in uh, on the rest of the color scheme and of course those patterns. This to me just um, was a, sort of a last minute decision just to add a little bit more of that sort of desert style effect to the power armor. And here are some photos of the completed miniature. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. If you'd like to learn how I painted the chapter symbol for the Mantis Warriors, I do have the original retro Mantis Warriors scheme in another one of my videos. So definitely check that out on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon.